So as you can see, the graphics card is now reaching 90 degrees and our FPS counter is starting to drop down. Welcome back to another Punch Technology video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to control the fans on your graphics card. This can be done on pretty much any graphics card. We're gonna be using the software MSI Afterburner. If you've already got that software downloaded or have used it before, you probably know that it's used for overclocking, um, but it's also used for controlling your GPU fan speed. The software pretty much works on any graphics card. I don't know of a graphics card that it doesn't work with. If you wanna tell me down in the comments, go ahead and do that. The reason you might want to manually configure the fans on your graphics card is because if your PC is running quite hot, then you might want to turn up the fan speed on the graphics card. However, that has a side effect of increasing the noise of the graphics card. If your PC is already running quite cool, then you can drop the fan speed down on the graphics card. It will slightly increase the temperature, but if you're willing to have a little bit more heat for less noise, then that might work for you. Another video I also suggest you go and watch is how to configure your CPU fan and case fans, which if you click on... Another video I also suggest you go and watch because it will help you configure your PC even further is to go and click on here to watch how to configure your CPU and case fans. Lastly, if you're on the lookout for a new PC, make sure to go and visit our website today because we currently are doing Gamer Days deals on our gaming PCs. If you buy any PC with an i5, i7 or i9 and a graphics card, you'll be able to get discounts from 50 pounds up to 250 pounds on these systems. Just visit our website, go to gaming, gamer days deals, and from there you can check it out. Right, so enough of that. Let's get to why you're here and configure the fans on our graphics card. We're just about to jump in, so make sure to download Furmark and MSI. I'll explain why you need both those programs. The download links are in the description below. Once you have both programs open, you're gonna set it up just like this. We're gonna have Furmark on the left here and MSI Afterburner on the right. As I mentioned before, MSI Afterburner can also be used for overclocking, but we're not going to be doing any of that today. We're going to be leaving that as default. What we wanna do is come over to the settings cog just here and open that. Then at the top, we just wanna come over to fan and enable user-defined fan control. Before we start to edit the fan curve at all, what we're gonna do is actually come over to Furmark and run a GPU stress test so that we can get an idea of where our temperatures are sitting and how loud our GPU fan is. We can just set this to 1280 by 720 and we're just gonna start the stress test. It should only take a minute for the temperature to level out here. So once it does that, we'll check back to see where we're at with the default fan configuration. It's been a couple of minutes. We can see that the GPU temperature has settled at around 71 degrees under a full load. I'm just gonna close this window now and we're gonna head back over to the fan curve just here. Just to quickly explain how this diagram works, as the temperature goes up in this direction, the fan speed goes up in this direction based on how we've set up the curve. Once you've got a base reading and you know what temperature your GPU is running at and you have a general idea of how loud it is, what we're gonna do is now configure the fan curve so that it is best optimized for you. So once you know your base reading, in my case, it's 70 degrees, what I'm gonna do is find the 70 degrees mark just here I'm just gonna come up the line and select right on the point where that meets the line. I'm just gonna click there and what that's gonna do is that's gonna add a point where we can now reference and adjust all of our temperatures. If your graphics card is running too hot, what we're going to do is select our reference point and we're going to drag it just over to the left just by a bit. We're gonna do 15 degrees in this case and take it from 70 to 55. Now, obviously this graph doesn't look very tidy now. So all we want to do is tidy up the other corners so that we have a nice curve um, for our system here. So if we take the first point, I'm gonna bring it further back, take the second point here, take the third point just to here and take the top point just to there, just so that we have a nice curve ready for our next test. I'm going to apply this setting now, 
and hopefully when we run a GPU stress test this time we should find that the temperature is running lower although the sacrifice is that our fans will be a bit noisier now. So I'm going to run the stress test and once the temperature levels out again we're going to take a look at how much temperature we've saved. So again, as we can see, it's just taken a couple of minutes, but we've gained about four degrees. So the card is now running four degrees less than it was at the beginning. So we've gone from 70 degrees down to 66 degrees. I'm just going to close Firmark and I'm gonna set up the graph for a loud graphics card. Before we move on for the rest of the video, please stay for one second. I just have something to say. If you have a look at our channel analytics, we're still in our growth stages where we're trying to develop our community. So if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you, please subscribe because we're doing what we can to help you guys out. And also, if you have any more ideas, leave a comment down below because we want you to be part of our community and we want to grow this channel together. So please subscribe if this has helped you today and we'll move on to the next part of the video. We're just going to reset our curve by clicking this drop down and select default and then click on custom again. We're going to re-add our reference point on the graph by finding 70 degrees, come up to the line and just adding a point onto the graph there just like that. Now what we want to do if the graphics card is running quite loud and you want to make it quieter, we're going to have to move the entire graph slightly to the right hand side. This way it's going to be quieter, but it is going to give you a little bit more heat on your graphics card. We're going to take our reference point, which is currently on 70 degrees, and this time we're going to move it to the right by about 10 degrees. So we're just going to go over by 10 degrees. If it doesn't let you move it any further, it's probably because there's a reference point just above that, which you also need to adjust. So we're going to move that over a bit. And then from here, we're just going to tidy the curve just so that it's nice. And that is going to do like that. So now the whole curve is moved slightly over to the right. We're going to again apply the settings, run a stress test and see what temperatures we're getting. So I'm just going to apply this now. I'm going to come back over to Firmark run the stress test and see what kind of temperatures we're getting this time. It's taken a little bit longer for the car to heat up as it had to get a bit hotter, but you can see here that the card is running at 80 degrees. That's about 10 degrees hotter than the default temperature. If you decide to run your GPU hotter, make sure to keep an eye on the FPS counter just here and make sure it's stable at what you're expected to receive. I'm just going to show you what happens to the FPS counter if you decide to make the GPU overheat on purpose. So what we're going to do is come to the fan configurator and we're just going to drop down all the reference points to here. And what that's going to cause is the fan to slow down and it's just going to get hotter. So as you can see, the graphics card is now reaching 90 degrees and our FPS counter is starting to drop down. Um, that's actually to keep the card safe. It drops the amount of performance that it's producing, lowers your FPS, and eventually you'll see that the graph down here will balance out again as the card has reduced its performance. So you can see the card has now settled at around 90 degrees. Um, but the loss of this is that we've now lost about 60 to 70 frames. So just to summarize, if you want to keep as much performance as possible out of the system while keeping it as quiet as possible at the same time, then you're going to have to use this method by lowering the fan speed. Although when it does start to throttle, you're going to have to find a balance there, bring the curve further to the left or the right until you find where you've got the most amount of performance and the quietest fan setup. If all you want to do is lower the noise of the fan and you're not worried about the performance of the system in particular, I'm just going to show you one more thing we can do with MSI and that is to come over to the power limit and lower this. So if we go to 80 degrees for instance and click on apply just there, 
This is going to mean our graphics card is only running at 80% of the performance, which means only 80% of the temperature is going to be produced, which means the fans are not going to be running as hot. There is one more crucial step that we need to take. Come back over to your settings in MSI Afterburner and select Start with Windows and Start Minimized and then click Apply and press OK. That's going to be it for this video. Hopefully this has helped you to set up your GPU fans. If this has helped, make sure to leave a like, make sure to comment, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm always working very hard to produce these kind of videos for you and just help you have a better life with your system. That's going to be it from me today. I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.